Howdy, folks! <clears throat> Sorry, can't really do the uh, Texan accent thing. Well, anyway, it's time for the calculator. And by that, I mean I finally got around to releasing the new version 2.30 of Houston Tracker. So let's check out some of the new features. Many of you will already be familiar with the 5xx uh, command, which either sets the duty on channel 2 or it enables this uh, sit style kind of duty uh, sweep, like so. Well, now you can actually set the speed of the sweep. And that sounds like that. Eventually it'll start to sound pretty bad, but anyway, there's that. Uh, okay, next one. Uh, some of you might recall in the last version we got this auto chord effect with, well, with um, effect number 7. And it was pretty bad. Uh, well, in the meantime, I discovered that uh, by tweaking the implementation a little bit, I could get uh, it to produce these drawbar organ-like uh, sounds. Basically, instead of doing these awful cacophonies, uh, it'll just affect the frequencies that are in an octave relation with the bass frequency. Uh, okay, let me give you a demonstration of that. As you can see, uh, you activate the effect uh, by entering a parameter higher than hex 80. Okay, not much to hear here. Now you're starting to hear it. And as that, you can do some pretty funky stuff with that and uh, note that the duty setting does uh, stack with this, so it will sound different if you give it different values uh, with effect 5xx. Uh, okay, so much for that. Uh, another thing I've tweaked are the slide effects uh, 2xx and 3xx. Well, first of all, they now work the same way, you don't have to invert the numbers anymore uh, for, for 3xx. Uh, but the main thing here is that I made them much, much slower, which uh, hopefully will make them a bit more useful. Uh, okay, so normally, let's uh, do a slide down. So the slowest one now sounds like this. And a little faster. But I believe what you really want is this. Yeah, uh, Okay, there's also a new effect for uh, Channel 3. Uh, perhaps not the most useful one, but hey, more effects is always good, right? Uh, so, anyway, I call this one the grind effect. And you can access it uh, through effect uh, number 6. Uh, which normally also sets the duty for channel 3. So a value higher than hex 80 will now enable this grind thing. And here's how that sounds. Okay, so this one is a bit similar to the uh, noise mode on, on channel 1, as in uh, it's pretty random and it very much depends on the note that you got in this position, uh, what it will sound like. Um, speaking of uh, notes, uh, I changed the note table in Houston Tracker for this version, so uh, some of the noise effects in channel A are going to sound a little bit different now. But uh, hopefully there's a bit more variety and uh, some more useful uh, notes that you can use. Uh, okay, last new effect in this version of Houston Tracker, and I'm really proud of this one. Uh, 
or even though most people will probably find it kind of useless. So anyway, remember how back in the day A01 would enable noise mode on channel one, right? Well, that's completely gone because you can do the same thing with uh, 4XX since version 2.10. So AXX will now do something completely different. And uh, for this to be useful, we need the same notes in channel one and channel three to start with. So, uh, I just, uh, oops. I'm using the same pattern in, in uh, channel one and channel three simply. And I've already prepared an effects dinghy here. Uh, so A0 disables the effect obviously. And uh, normally uh, my uh, patterns would sound like this. Oh, let me just uh, change the speed here to make it a bit less tedious. Okay, uh, which is kind of random. So now to demonstrate the effect, uh, let me put some sevens here. And now it sounds like this. Whoa, isn't that cool? Right, technically what this effect does, it introduces a phase offset between uh, channel one and channel three. But don't worry about the technical details. What matters is that it gives you this kind of fake volume control. And uh, the important thing to know here is that the effect isn't linear, basically, uh, values to uh, close to hex 80 will uh, give a more pronounced effect and on the other hand values below hex 40 or above hex C0 uh, will pretty much do nothing. And that's all for now. Please give the new version a try. Links in the description below and as always let me know if you spot any bugs and so on. Okay, bye!